Hi, I'm Mike Hanley with Cars.com, and we're here at the Los Angeles Auto Show with two muscle cars. First of all, there's the 2010 Chevrolet Camaro you see here, which debuts in spring 2009. And debuting at this show was the redesigned 2010 Ford Mustang as well. So we thought, why not take these cars on and see how they compare against each other? The first category we wanted to take on was styling. Now, the Camaro first debuted at the Detroit Auto Show in concept form in 2006. And the production model you see here really looks a lot like that version. It's got a, ni a lot of nice details on the outside, like this thin vent right above the grill. It's got a clean look overall as well, low slung and wide. It's sure to appeal to Camaro fans. With the redesign of the Mustang, the car actually lose some of its retro styling cues that the previous one had. Changes include a new power dome hood, new fenders, and actually a shorter grill. It looks a little bit like the grill got compressed compared to the old model. There are also a number of new wheel choices that the car can have. And as you go around back, you can see that there are changes like all new tail lights, new lower bumper design. So overall, it, the car retains the look of the previous model, but it gets a number of significant updates. Brand Allegiance is still a big component of this segment though, so we think buyers are gonna follow along company lines. So we call this category a toss up. Next up is performance, and we're looking at the Camaro now. It's available with two engines. There's the base 3.6 liter V6. It makes 300 horsepower and has direct injection. Or if you step up to the SS trim level, you get this V8 here. It can make up to 422 horsepower. Now both those engines are available with six speed transmissions, manual or automatic. The Mustang still offered with a base four liter V6 engine, but the optional 4.6 liter V8 makes slightly more horsepower for 2010 thanks to this cold air induction system it now has. It's rated at 315 horsepower, which is up 15 horsepower over the previous model. That's still way below what the Camaro offers. Transmission choices include five speed automatics or five speed manuals. Compared to the Mustang, the Camaro offers a lot more horsepower, so without driving it, just looking at the numbers right now, the Camaro beats the Mustang. When you're inside the Camaro, you can see it has a lot of interesting details that are specific to this car. Just look in the center control panel where it has unique audio, climate controls, and also below that, some unique gauges there as well. Also, it's got this interesting red trim you can see here on the door panels and also up on the dashboard. And overall, the Camaro offers more visual excitement from its interior than the Mustang does, even though the Mustang's interior quality has been raised with its 2010 redesign. So, for this category, the Camaro comes out ahead. The Camaro has the features you'd expect in a modern car like standard AC, available higher end sound systems, and a standard stability system, but it doesn't have the type of unique features that the Mustangs do that distinguish that car in this class. In terms of unique features, the Mustang can have a lot of them. It's available with Ford's Sync Entertainment and Communication System, which allows you to hook an iPod up to it and control it with your voice. There's also an optional navigation system, which is Ford's latest unit that features real-time gas price info, among other things, which is a handy feature to have. The car is also available with an all-glass roof, which gives you the feel of a convertible in a coupe. So the Mustang comes out ahead of the Camaro in terms of offering unique features. We haven't driven either the new Mustang or the new Camaro yet, but from looking at the categories here, the Camaro comes out ahead. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.